so hey guys i uh, so now we are going to talk about the props uh, so not the props uh, basically uh, the components which the react flow already provides so if you remember i've said that in my intro video so yeah now let's go ahead and talk about it so initially react flow provides multiple components if uh, i talk about or the plugin sorry uh, so like uh, first is the minimap i will just let you know what the minimap is and then is the background so the name is itself enough and then there is something called panel uh, which we will i will let you know it also coming up so i think uh, and then is the control controls uh, controls segment controls okay i'm just recheck it if i am missing something uh, so yeah controls it's controls yeah so it's really hard to you know remember all of the things at the same time but yeah okay so it provides you all these three so right now if you see here uh, if i go like to my app right now it's a blank space and it's really not looking like something you know uh, which we can play with it or right now they're like there's nothing it just nodes you connected but it's not good so now let's beautify it or i can say is uh, let's give it a meaning okay so first is the important one that is called minimap so the beauty of uh, the name itself if you see you get a minimap here directly at the bottom right so here the gray ones if you can see it provides uh, it tells the nodes which are there so as i move you can see it also moves so this is a uh, like you can uh, it's you can also make it zoomable or uh, there are a lot of other the props which you can pass on it okay so next what i want to talk about is uh, next is the controls so this one is very important so at the moment it gives you to zoom in to zoom out and if you want to get fit view this is what you get so initially if you want to uh, on reload if you want to do that so you can just type fit uh, view and uh, from the next time onwards you reload it will be a fit view instead of clicking here and you can lock here also so you can't move it anymore okay so this is the beauty of uh, beauty of controls and the uh, what i say uh, the mid last thing uh, sorry not the last thing of course is uh, the second last thing is basically the background so background now you will see now it has some backgrounds at the back so the background also comes uh, what i say with the uh, different variants so if i had a variant here so currently the what i say default variant is set to dot so if i ch so if i make it to what i say line i hope it should work okay so i just check what what back background so variant we have so if you go here you can see the they have already provided line dots and cross so by default it dots so we have to write lines actually so now let's see so this is the line or the ruler one and then there's something called cross and the cross looks like this so uh, i will just suggest you to go and explore all of these things you can play with it how you want okay so this was about the this so now uh, there's something called uh, what we will doing is uh, called panels so panels is something like let's say you are creating this map right so if you worked in uh, like during the, uh, my school childhood times when we used to, like when my teacher used to say bring graph something like that so it was quite like if i knew this uh, earlier i would have made the graphs in this so like let me just show you so if i make the variants to lines okay so this is how i remember my school <laughs> the graph paper was i used to bring but at the top there we always have to you know write the x coordinate y coordinate if you remember 
so that you can do it with panels uh, something called it panels panel uh, it says panel okay it's it's panel oh um, so right now how the panel will work i'm just uh, uh, okay i if i remember panel works with a position okay just give me a minute guys so panel uh, yeah you're right so panel works with a position so I'll just rewrite it so it's panel okay so here panel you can write it as uh, x 20 centimeter something like that and if you see at the top right but if you want to change the position you can go ahead and give it a position equals to uh, top right so yeah, yeah so it moves here so this is how you can provide pops and there are multiple functions you can work on it like on click event or multiple things but yeah this is how it works so six minutes okay uh, one thing more we can do it in the mini map let's say if you want to change the color so you something provide node color so there are multiple things can you see there are multiple things so node color so actually which actually gives a uh, value of uh, wait i just show you const node color equals to color switch color dot type okay so oh uh, sorry okay here yep. so how it will work is um first what i should do is i just show what actually we get from this node color is a console dot log it's actually making the video log but okay i just show you very quick so it actually provides a uh, the type actually of uh, the node so if i do this nsda nsda okay whatever blah 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 it actually gives me this so how we can change the color is uh, by changing the type okay so let's say uh, i do a switch and if color actually i should have changed the name or dot type okay so case uh, equals to input that time uh, return over red let's see if it is working or not okay see red but is it working uh, <laughs> so you can change some of the things guys I will not uh, suggest case uh, output I don't like to code much while explaining that time uh, let's say return or uh, green and let's say case uh, default so let's see yeah can you see so all these colors has been changed so there are multiple things which you can do guys so i will just suggest you to go ahead to this link i will just be giving in the description and you can just go ahead and check all the all the things yep okay one more thing which i forgot is the <laughs> it's quite important actually um, so let's say with the edge if you want to play with it um, you can give it like if you want to give something called animation and you may animate it equals to true so now the step will be something animated let's see yep if you can see it's animated okay <sighs> so this was all about uh, what i say uh, the components which we get with uh, the this so in the next video we will talk about some of the event handlers which we actually require like let's say uh, whenever you're connecting two nodes 
that time even should happen okay so i will be talking about that in next video so yeah thank you thank you guys <laughs>